Hey traders, this is Christian Prime Hertz, Tribeca Trade Group, and it is Wednesday, October 21st, and um, headline or theme of the day, um, I, I jumped right to it, but uh, this was a phrase that Bloomberg, I heard from Bloomberg Radio this morning, and I thought it was pretty, pretty accurate of what we're dealing with uh, the last couple days. Headline roulette. And um, of course, you know, the stimulus package, which has basically got us at a standstill, is not the only thing that's going on, right? It's, um, it's a lot of things that we talked about in the uh, Tribeca Trade Group member video that I sent out this weekend. Um, I took a cautious view. I just think there's, there's a lot of events going on. And wouldn't I, it, I basically said that I, it wouldn't surprise me if we had CHOP this week. Well, that's what we got. And, um, you know, it could be a number of catalysts that get us going a little bit. What I tend to do is like to rely on what the technicals are telling me too, because even though that, you know, it does feel like we're very choppy and we are based on these headlines, it's also, I think, the chart pattern too that is kind of um, giving us some hints, you know, in terms of that too. Um, also, I put in here, you know, secondary theme, I think, was just a little bit of a rotation out of some high growth names, right? Some names that I think have gotten expensive. That was something else that I mentioned in the weekend. Uh, the weekend video was that... Um, was that there was not a lot of good looking setups, right? Um, you know, I normally I put together a watch list of about 20 names. I, I sometimes have to dial it down. You know, I've got about 30 names and I filter it down to about 20. I couldn't, I was having difficulty coming up with 10 uh, this weekend and, and actually had a couple obscure names in there. So that, um, you know, really when you're doing your scans and you're looking for, for setups, if you're not finding a lot of them, it can really give you a hint as to what this market is doing. And if you're not seeing a bunch of things jump off the page, uh, that was one of my messages as well. Not, you know, basically hold off, you know, wait until, wait for your pitch, of course, is the one analogy, uh, and wait until the setups look really good, right? And um, also like poker, if you want to use that one too, you know, only play the best hands. So, <clears throat> you know, we certainly, uh, it took a little while for things to kind of fall apart a little bit, which I think we did in, in growth names. And I, th I mean, I'm almost to the, um, taking the viewpoint that that kind of needed to happen a bit things were just too pricey you know if you looked at zoom if you looked at peloton right these things have gone up too much they've gone up in a, when they go up in a straight line it's great when you're participating in them but you know that that's not supposed to happen like that right jks was another one we'll talk about the solar sell off today too uh, but let's before we get into that let's let's talk about the um <laughs> let's talk about the indices tight range right we're, we're kind of caught in the middle and it's not going to take a lot to kind of figure out which way we're going to go um do i know exactly which way we're going to go yet no i don't um but i know that there's this vpoc down here that's sitting down here at 3396 i would almost like to you know again we don't have to get this thing taken removed taken out but I do see several areas of support down there. Um, so, uh, you know, that's also good. And I went over this. I've went over this in the last two videos. By the way, if this video doesn't look right to you, if the if it's not in high definition, what YouTube takes a while, by the way, for the um, for the video to render, like they'll give you a, a, a regular video. I think you have to wait like a half an hour or an hour. So if it looks fuzzy to you, um, just, you know, I send the, the video out as soon as YouTube tells me it's ready, but I think it takes another hour for, for them to make it so that it, uh, so that it renders perfectly. All right. So we're caught in the middle here. So three, three, nine, six, that also, I'll just show you what I'm referring to. I went over this in yesterday's video, but you're going to see a virgin point of control come up down here as well. Do, 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 do. wait for it. Just as I did in yesterday's video, there it is, 3395, right? So that's two, two version point of controls. This one is, where is this one from? From all the way back here. Again, this is one price does not go through a value area, right? It's, the, it's a very similar concept to a gap, right? So some people think that all gaps get filled. Well, there's a gap from back here or what we call a virgin point of control. Notice this one, right? Back here, this is one that price 
um, searched it out and we got a nice you know uh, nice move on that one notice what happened earlier in the week right we took out this one and we just kept on sliding so there was no you know major um, reversal off of that one and and I think that gave a pretty good like you know when you go through a virgin point of control and you just keep sliding like that you know that it's not that significant all right and then of course the good news is right and and we are holding this 3420 top of value for the month we could slide in there of course you know and take out those version point of controls and then move higher um, that's kind of what I'm thinking and how I'm trying to position a little bit regardless of this nonsense that we hear that we're hearing every day about these two these uh, political idiots that are you know toying around with people's livelihoods um, bargaining whether or not to do this before or after election shame on them for doing that um, and for not negotiating when you're in a negotiation I'm sorry to be political but you start at one end and if you've taken any type of negotiation class, you start at one end and you move in, right? You don't just stand there at one side and say, this is my plan and that's it. I mean, it's very childish what's going on. But any any basic negotiation works that way. You just don't stand and say, I'm, I'm going to hurt the American people if I don't get my way. Anyway, I'll... <laughs> So I'll move away from that. Uh, three, 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 four, nineteen. Um, and by the way, <laughs> sorry, but hey, it's a little bit of frustration after the last couple of days of just like waiting and watching the tape. Um, three, 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 nine, three. That's only like about a percent down. So don't think that this is that far. It's really not that material uh, in in the overall uh, picture of things. So let's talk a little bit about. Um, you know, I think, you know, what Snap did, right, and did give back some of the gains, by the way, a decent port, still finished up 20, 28%. Um, and by the way, right, this was in our week, speaking of the weekend watch list, that I couldn't put, find that many names. At least I found Snap and I found pins thinking that they were good setups. Um, you know, a couple of the other names you could see are getting pretty beaten up. Um, and I think that's just a, a product of kind of what's going on right now in this environment. Um, you know, a lot of names on my list. So this this is not a great list for the for the week. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to kind of work out a gain because, as you know, this is part of the weekend watch list program where I buy this list on Monday morning, hold it for the week, and then sell it late on Friday and substitute into SPY hold spy over the weekend and then once i put together my new watch list over the weekend i substitute into that new watch list and get out of the spy beta position all right so that's uh that's what's going on but we're basically we're, we're essentially flat but yeah so this if we start to go into some of these names and growth in growth land um you know there is a you know let's start with the with the bigger names you know peloton and it got a downgrade uh, from Goldman after the after the close, but you know again, like this stuff is not normal, right? Y you can't come in one day and say, "Why is Peloton down five percent?" Well, why was it up? You know, went from why was it up twenty five percent, right? So you kind of have to think think a little bit like that. Same thing with the solar names. Let's talk a little bit about this this thing. By the way, I did sell part of my position in my long, you know, in the Tribeca Trade Group tactical. Uh, portfolio. I rebalanced that yesterday. I got a little bit lucky with that. Um, but um, you'll notice it's just coming into the 20 day moving average. So there's still a virgin point of control up here. So this is why I didn't get out of the total position. Now, if it comes in a little bit, it comes in a little bit more, right? And here's a really good level to watch. Whoops. This 81 level. So again, let this thing correct a little bit. It's due for a correction. Um, big volume the last couple weeks, uh, but eventually, you know, who knows when, but 82 is the level that you can kind of look at. So I took a good portion of that trade off in my, you know, plus 30 name Tribeca Trade Group portfolio, which is all, you know, which is a portfolio of cash names and um, went into some other names, uh, you know, and I think that um, that's the right thing to do. And for me, 
and then I'll move, you know, if this thing happens to, to come in further, you know, I can always put that position back on again. But, um, I, you know, I, I don't always get the timing perfect. This one I think I, I did pretty well on. All right, and then if we kind of just look across names, you know, I, I mean, I tried trading a little bit of Chewy today. Um, maybe a better entry now, um, but, um, you know, this is going to happen. This, this type of thing, you know, if they're going to sell off a whole group, um, you really have to define your stops. Um, so when I went into this Chewy this morning, um, I did put a stop price in here someplace, but I did get stopped out. And um, that's fine. In this type of market, you're going to get paper cuts, right, with trades. Um, the Netflix trade that we talked, that the Iron Condor that I did yesterday worked out pretty well. Um, I got, you know, a little bit lucky on the open because it rallied on the first two five-minute bars. So an Iron Condor, you're selling a call spread, selling a put spread, right? You're fading a big move. You're, you're collecting premium, Right, they call that like you know. What are the terms that you always hear? Is oh, they're crushing the premium, right? So there's a trade to do that. Um, I did that today with Tesla, right? Iron Condor, and I think Tesla's looking pretty good. But yeah, so I before I get on to the, before I move on to Tesla, um, this was perfect. You know, I I took a little bit of a loss on the short put spread, right? I sold this for 360, bought it back for five for 490. But look at the short call spread. I covered that, um, you know, I didn't have to cover it, uh, but I covered it for 15 cents and I sold it for 360. That comes out to a net profit of 215, uh, $215 per contract. So that's a nice trade. Um, you know, I tried again to be a net seller on the open. That's just how the, how this, you know, pattern has been. Respect the pattern until it's not a pattern, right? Every day we come in, they bid up the market a little bit. Uh, in the overnight session and you know sometimes in the first 20 minutes take your profits try not to add too many trades you know try to be a net seller because that's the way the market is and then move on um, until it changes right um, I tried one trade today you know I started to see some things that looked pretty good and I'm like you know what let's not bother where did Visa end up it's just it's just not worth it yeah, Visa gave back uh, so many names, right? Did this. They started higher in the first 15 minutes. And I said, you, you forget about it. This is this is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> uh, JD got out of that one for profits. I'm completely out of JD.com. I'm also completely out of PD, PDD. I did try PDD a little bit later. And again, I just took a very quick stop. Um, I traded a little bit of Q's puts. Once I kind of, and I, and I was a little bit, a little bit late on this but you know we tried to rally and get outside right here um, so I waited to this first five minute bar once we broke in I bought some puts and I played it all the way to the bottom of value all right so that worked all right so there was some some you know adjustments to make but I'll tell you it's very difficult to hold positions right because you're gonna get you're gonna have a couple in this market that are gonna go down um, so I you know I continue to hold some positions and it's frust it's frustrating right because those positions that I am holding and wasn't able to hit a target on the open you know they're gonna they're gonna get you know washed around and especially options right if you're holding options in this environment uh, you know, my opinion, I can't tell what you do. This video is for information purposes only, but it's very difficult, right? Give yourself plenty of time and use the ability to scale in, right? Going like all in on a position right now is, is really, really aggressive. Um, you know, give yourself plenty of room. All right. Um, so that's it, Tesla. So we'll go over a couple of names that reported earnings. Yeah, so Tesla, I did the same same strategy as Netflix. Um, and this is perfect, right? Tesla's up 10 bucks, right? Um, now I will defend this call spread. I did buy a little bit of uh, Tesla shares, but as long as it stays below 450, and as long as it stays above 402, um, I, collect, I collect some decent money here. 260 plus 235 so that's um that's almost five dollars uh per contract so uh, you know 
right now I'm looking at a, a perfect situation. We'll see if the earnings call changes that. And if it starts to rally closer to my strike, my, my short strike of 450, I will buy some more stock. But I did already buy a little bit. Um, I mentioned in the trading room that I would, if it gets up to like 440, 445, I will buy more because you could actually make more money um, by doing that if it continues to go past. Like if you, if you get in, if you, if Tesla manages to rally to like 470, like something miraculous in the overnight session, I can make more money on that stock than I, than I will lose on the short call spread because I'm, my loss is capped. All right. But again, I needed to push. This happened to me a couple quarters ago in, uh, in Tesla. I, I had done the same thing, and Tesla took off like a rocket. Um, and, I, and I had an um, iron condor on it, and I ended up making more on the, um, on the stock purchase. All right, um, a few other bright spots for the day. My buddy PayPal um, out to all-time highs this, this morning, uh, today. So there is like, you know, of course, this, there was a story about this one today. Uh, they're getting into the cryptocurrency market. They're allowing, uh, you know, payments and so on and so forth. But, you know, I've been holding PayPal and being patient with this thing. Uh, I'm looking for a run into earnings for this particular trade. And um, after 52 week highs, right? So, so nice. So again, like I said, there's some bright spots out there. But I think overall being, being selective right now is important. Um, you know, until we get a nice signal. And again, for me, that would be on my, on, on these signals, right? Where you're looking for things, uh, you're always like, I'm always going to be a little bit late, right? So if we do get a move back into value and a back above this 200 period moving average, which I discussed in length on, um, on Monday that we broke it and, and to be conservative, um, if we get back above it, my viewpoint changes, but it's not going to change unless we get back above there. And again, not not sacrificing that much waiting for it. What, a, less than a percent? So anyway, that's today's video. Um, again, kind of take things, you know, uh, the important thing, we went over this in the Q&A session, is to adjust to what the market is giving you. Right now, it's giving you chop. Um, that to me tells me take your foot off the accelerator and wait be patient and let things materialize rather than pressing into nonsense all right guys have a great night and uh again this is going to clear up right we only have a couple weeks to the election too right so if you can sit on your hands i was joking around today and, and i said hey go pumpkin picking or apple picking right um you know enjoy the fall foliage <laughs> instead of watching this nonsense that's you know that's uh going on right now on the tape all right guys have a great night see you tomorrow